Hi, uh, Tom Honig here again from GTI Predictive here with uh, Chris Subrock and Francesco. We're uh, demonstrating again a little spin-off from our strain gauge film we've done earlier today. We've got a strain gauge on a very thick, thick uh, steel plate here uh, that we're going to simulate uh, movement by just being able to bend this huge piece of steel. But also we're going to simulate what a bump test looks like on that and we're going to run that live for you. Um, so let's start with the bump test. If you can see my screen here pretty well, I'm going to hit the run button and I'm just going to tap that piece of steel. And you're going to see a nice clean signature off of that strain gauge. And you can see that I've got a natural frequency and then actually another little one there that, you know, we can zoom in on and, and post-process uh, do whatever we want with. But also, if I rerun this uh, same test and just sort of, I'm going to just sort of pull back and forth on that kind of show you what that signal would look like. That's me actually pushing the steel back and forth. Of course, being so low frequency, we're not going to see much in the uh, frequency domain, but you can see, we can actually see the bending between this magnet and this magnet with the strain gauge on a molecular level. And that's really important what he just said, because these are mounted with magnets. Traditionally, people think of strain gauges requiring adhesives and lots of preparatory work. But this, all you did was put it on that piece of steel. There are two magnets, and we're looking at strain levels low enough that these magnets have enough surface grip and the friction's high enough that you're able to see the strain through that. So you could calibrate this at this low of a strain level, because this is an inch thick piece of steel. It's not having a whole lot of movement down here. Of course, magnets aren't ideal, but for a fast field measurement, or getting an idea of how something's responding and strain, this is really fast. Yeah. Ideal anchoring is mechanical and or adhesive. However, if you're doing field measurements and you need to know how something's bending in a hurry, this is a good way to do it. Yeah, and if we had to, we could probably bolt it to it you know, pretty quickly also. So uh, please reach out to us at uh, www.gtipredictive.com or 603-669-5993. Thank you for your attention.